Chris Paul mid-range jumper won't go. Paul was electric the other night. 17 points, had 19 assists in that win over Sacramento. Gordon to the rack, missed it. Zubas, offensive rebound, but he had it stripped on the way up. This is Terrence Ross, who just acquired off waivers Wednesday from Orlando. This is his Phoenix debut tonight. Gets it to Aiden. A great opportunity. I had a chance to talk to him for the game. I know him very well, along with his agent. That's a young fella. Do you understand your opportunity as Terrence Ross knocked down a jump shot? Understand, when you're playing behind jump, Jamal Murray, not going to be a lot of minutes right. dispersed on the court. And it's frustrating for a young player that wants to prove himself. To Jacques Landale. That's it to Ross. Well, he could be an interesting fit with this Phoenix team. Came over in that Durant deal with Brooklyn. Also on the floor, this is Isha Wayne Wright. Ross tees it up from deep. A little bit short, and the rebound corralled by Highland. Eight straight for the Clippers. Ten-point lead. And the pass, a little simple pass, but it wasn't made easy by a seven-footer off the dribble. Beautiful shot in the corner. He's leaving it with his left hand, and I love it. It, it really is one of the craziest things in the league. So unorthodox as Terrence Ross misses a three. T.J. Warren gets it back and puts it down for Phoenix. Because it's not normal for a guy to come in to the league or his whole life shoot one way. I think Tristan Thompson did it one time in Cleveland. Physical you know, players, athletic players, but the mental part has to be stabilized and able for you to be a consistent player. This is Booker, fourth game since the return from the leg injury that cost him 21 games. Okogi showing the stroke. Aiton and then throw it up to the rim for Zubas to finish. Boy, Ross has not been bashful in this first half. He's played well. Offensive rebound. Craig turned back. So Phoenix's lead short-lived, at least for the moment. Paul gets it to Ross. Knife's in, and he is getting right to work with his new team. Here comes a Kogi playing with confidence. Ross from the corner. A little bit short, rebound by Zubats. Leonard pushing for the Clippers. Here comes Leonard, turns the corner. Going glass, and he's headed to the free throw line. He needs, he needs about 25 games together with his group. Well, now that group has changed a little bit. So we'll see what the back half of those 21 games. Steady and true to who you are is paying huge dividends right now for the Clippers. Gordon back into the game. A little bit short. When you look at his minutes, double digit scoring in five straight games, entering this one tonight. Longest stretch of his career. He's not done it for his sixth consecutive game as Ross. With a chance to really be a difference maker for Monty Williams off the bench. It would be interesting to see what happens with Giannis because he left the game this right. evening with, what is it, the wrist? Wrist injury, initial word, is sprain. Yes. Cigars help me out a lot. <laughs> Keep stress low. A lot of cigars. <laughs> Five seconds to shoot. They turn it over. Highland the theft. Final seconds. Highland cocking it back. Couldn't finish the play. A little bit too much from Highland. One second. Ross on the launch. And it nearly went for Phoenix. Second game with the Clippers, and he's pushed LA's lead back to nine. So Highland with seven off the bench. This is a Kogi. Corner pocket three for Phoenix. How good has Josh Jacoby been tonight? Look at his numbers 21 points, making only his fourth start of the season. George taking on Biombo at the summit. And these two teams giving their money's worth. Here in Phoenix, three-pointer from Ross won't go, gets his own rebound, and puts it up and in. Here in Phoenix, three-pointer from Ross won't go, gets his own rebound, and puts it up and in. The last game with Phoenix against Sack, it was Devin Booker with the second unit, kind of manhandling the basketball, playing the point. And Aiton fights for the rebound. He starts the quick and a Kogi, the drive and kick, Ross! Chris Paul has just tied Michael Jordan for third place on the NBA's all-time steals list. 2,514.